I'm going to print out six benches using six different slices comparing the results against Simplify 3D to see whether it's worth the money. My printer came with uh, a SD card with Cura version 15.04.3 already installed, so I used that for the first print. That was my first slicer. I grabbed uh, version 2.7, uh, which I've actually been quite happy with. It gives quite good prints. Then, of course, out came the 3 series, so we got 3.03, and before I even had a chance to get into that, uh, version 3.0.4 has popped out. So that's the last of the, um, the Cura series, or the latest, I should say. I grabbed Idea Maker. Um, that's actually quite impressive. I grabbed Craftware to have a look at, and Kiss. Kiss is my least favourite. I uh, could not get it to print properly with the Bowden printer. It just too much stringing, way too much stringing. Slick 3R, yep, same sort of thing. A uh, bit of slicing uh, problems in as much as that we have stringing. I just can't get rid of it. Uh, I do believe there's a new version coming out, so they may correct that, but I don't believe that uh, KISS and uh, Slick 3R are set up for Bowden extruders. Craftware, it produces quite a nice print, but if you look on the back here, that was uh, an area that I couldn't get quite right. The back of the, or top of the box, I should say, it did not close it properly. Idea Maker, um, excellent, excellent results. Cura, also excellent results. And the one that everyone's waiting for, Simplify. 3D version 4. Yep, definitely the best uh, as far as slicing programs go, but I personally can't justify spending a hundred plus dollars on it. If you're doing uh, printing for a commercial uh, venture, yep, definitely spend the money, you'll get, you'll definitely get your value for it. But Cura and Idea Maker do excellent jobs, um, and I'm, I'm very happy with them as a, as a hobbyist. Idea Maker, you have the ability to add your own uh, supports, custom supports, wherever you want them, and you can remove them. Craftware, 
gives you this ability as well and of course that's come standard in simplify as well cura has so many uh, settings in it you'll basically get lost in them uh, so that's uh, the sort of range there it's interesting too that uh, printout times vary quite dramatically and I'll give you a list of that uh, towards the end of the video you can actually see which is the uh, one that uh, printed the fastest and the slowest and uh, Thank you.